The PlayStation Plus free game offerings for the month of March have been revealed, and I have to say it's a pretty good month. However, you have to keep in mind that starting with March 2019, we will no longer be getting PlayStation Vita nor PlayStation 3 games. At a service level, you might think that doesn't matter. You're not even playing on your PlayStation Vita or PlayStation 3. God, who even bought a PlayStation Vita? I am one of those people, but nonetheless, we are no longer getting PlayStation Vita and PS3 games. However, that's also unfortunate for PS4 gamers because a lot of those games were directly cross by so we're actually fundamentally losing out on games now we're just getting two games as it is but as we're gonna go over with the month of march there are two pretty major games so if the months to follow are similar to this i would have to say that that is a pretty good change to make also you'd have to think with the upcoming release of the playstation 5 of course at some point that'll happen will it be two ps5 games and two ps4 games for plus subscribers that's something to note as well but we'll be going over the playstation plus free offerings for the month of march also tatsuya nomura I had some details on Kingdom Hearts 3 sales and they were beyond his expectations and DLC development is underway. PUBG is having another collaboration and this time around it's with the PlayStation 4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is getting a limited edition PlayStation 4 Pro console. Unfortunately, it's exclusive to the Netherlands and Belgium, but this console is so sick that I did want to highlight it. And lastly, I do want to go over a pretty good deal on Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown over at Best Buy. More on that at the end of this video. First up, the PlayStation Plus free offer for March 2019, we first have The Witness. The Witness is an awesome game from the developer of the charming puzzle platformer Braid back in 2008. Jonathan Blow promptly returned to the drawing board and spent the next eight years working on an ambitious follow-up. With that came 2016's Witness, an enigmatic first-person puzzler set on a seemingly deserted tropical island dotted from one end to the other with a vast network of interconnected puzzles. Boasting spellbinding narrative twists and an unbeatable sense of satisfaction in conquering each puzzle, The Witness is a benchmark in design and environmental storytelling download the witness on playstation plus this month for a slow burning test of the old gray matter that's the description right off the playstation blog and the witness is actually a really great game i don't know if i would say it's as good as braid braid was one of the best indie games of all time the witness from a critical reception it was received very very well so now that you're getting it as a playstation plus offering i believe this game is still relatively expensive even if it goes on sale you're looking at paying at least 10 to 15 dollars so as a playstation plus title getting a game of this quality Hey, that's a complete win in my book. The Witness is a great game in its own right, but the other game is also a pretty major title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I believe this is the second Call of Duty title that's been given as a PlayStation Plus title, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We did get that back in June of last year, but now we have Modern Warfare Remastered, and this is a great offering because this game, even when it goes on sale on the PlayStation Store, it still goes for like $30, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now as a Plus title, this is great, and especially as a multiplayer game, all of your friends that have Plus are going to get access to the game and you can all jump in together. I always advocate for a high quality multiplayer offering and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered definitely fits that bill. Of course, Modern Warfare was originally released back in 2007 and it took the gaming world by storm, really made the Call of Duty franchise blow up even more than it already was. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was really what took it to the extreme mainstream and of course, ever since then, the game has been one of the major titles in all of gaming. Modern Warfare Remastered came back in 2016 with the release of Infinite Warfare's Legacy Edition. Edition, and now we have it as a standalone game for PlayStation Plus, and that's awesome. And while some weren't a big fan of some of the changes that were implemented in the remastered version, it's still a great time to go back and play through Call of Duty 4. I know a lot of you guys are super nostalgic with it, and even if you don't have that nostalgia element, because again, at this point, it is, what, nearing 12 years old? It's still a terrific game that holds up pretty well today. Some great maps, it looks great on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And it's just a great multiplayer offering. And I should mention, while I've been talking a lot about the multiplayer, the single-player campaign in COD 4 is terrific as well. A great high-octane single-player campaign. Yes, it's relatively short at 4 to 6 hours, but a great time going through that as well. So I would have to say the PlayStation 4 game offerings with The Witness and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, you've got two distinct experiences. You've got a single-player open-world puzzler, and then you've got a multiplayer first-person shooter, one of the most iconic games of all time. I honestly don't know how you could be disappointed about this month, unless you were somebody that was expecting like Black Ops 4, Red Dead Redemption 2, or Marvel Spider-Man. But hey, it seems like I'm memeing on those of you that act like that every month. So let's just move on. I would say I'm very happy with the PlayStation Plus games for the month of March. Moving on from that, Tetsuya Nomura is very happy with the sales on Kingdom Hearts 3. They were beyond his expectation, and DLC development is underway. Nomura said this in an interview with Dengeki Online. As far as sales numbers go, they're a great result far beyond my expectations. I'm currently working on DLC for the game, so I don't feel like I'm finished with it 
yet, which has led to my sleeping time becoming even shorter after release. And although we had known about DLC possibly coming to Kingdom Hearts 3, this is kind of the first official confirmation that DLC will in fact be coming to Kingdom Hearts 3, and it will be happening for sure. I think it's a great idea because Kingdom Hearts 3 is a game that Square Enix invested a lot of resources in. You want to get as much longevity and as much revenue as you possibly can because this was an expensive game to make. You definitely need to recoup those costs. Tetsuya Nomura also spoke on a lot of other details about the game. We'll leave a link to it in the description box down below, but pretty exciting to see that Kingdom Hearts 3 did deliver from a commercial standpoint. Whenever a game is in development for this long, you always have to be a little bit skeptical, not only from a commercial standpoint, but from a reception and critical standpoint as well. After I saw the disaster that was Final Fantasy 15, and coming from someone that actually did like the game, it seems like a lot of you guys did it. And I can definitely understand why the storytelling in that game was just a jumbled mess. With Kingdom Hearts 3, is it a perfect game? No, but there's definitely a lot to like with it and there's going to be a lot more to like as Tetsuya Nomura is currently working on DLC. Moving on from that, we talked earlier about how PUBG was getting a pretty cool crossover with Terra, but now it's getting what I would say an even cooler crossover, a Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration with Guerrilla Games. This was posted over on PUBG's official website. Today we are thrilled to announce our collaboration with Guerrilla Games, the developer of Horizon Zero Dawn, to create four HZD themed weapon skins and outfits for the PS4 version of PUBG. Our collaboration with Horizon Zero Dawn follows in the footsteps of our previous Uncharted and The Last of Us content to match the two different IPs. PUBG Corporation and Guerrilla Games collaborated closely on the concept, design, and production elements. As fans of Horizon Zero Dawn, the results exceeded our expectations and we can't wait to see players wearing the items in our games. This is kind of funny because if you remember, PUBG first released as a PC exclusive, then it came to Xbox One, and then it took forever to come to PlayStation 4, but now PlayStation 4 users are getting all of these cool crossovers. Again, we had an Uncharted crossover, we we had the Last of Us crossover, and now we have a Horizon crossover. At this point, PUBG is firmly taking that number three Battle Royale spot. It's well behind Apex Legends as well as Fortnite, but I think with cool crossovers like this, it can keep gamers invested into the experience, it can keep gamers engaged, and it definitely has an audience to its own. And it's cool to see PUBG still trucking along with this cool collaboration with Horizon Zero Dawn. Moving on from that, this was pointed out by DualShockers, but there was a Sekiro Shadows Die Twice limited edition PS4 Pro console revealed, and it looks absolutely absolutely incredible. As far as the PlayStation 4 Pro limited consoles go, this is probably the sickest one that I've seen thus far. It's stylized beautifully, and on top of that, it comes with an absolutely beautiful controller. Now, the only problem with the console is that it is exclusive to the Netherlands and Belgium, so if you do completely want the console and you want to drop a lot of money in it, be expected to pay a lot because it is exclusive to those areas and to get it shipped over here. And just knowing the limited nature of this console, it's going to be super, super expensive, but for those of you that are big collectors, maybe you want a massive collection of all of the limited edition PlayStation 4 consoles, well, you got to have this one. On the other hand, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, the game game alone will be enough for me and Amazon is throwing in a pretty cool steel book with it as well and it'll be launching on March 22nd for the PlayStation 4. Lastly I do want to give you guys a heads up that Best Buy has got Ace Combat 7 Skies and own $10 off it's down to $49.99 but if you are a GCU subscriber you'll save an additional 20% so you're paying $40 for AC7 which I do believe is the best deal I've seen on it thus far it's been going for around $50 on a couple of different e-tailers I believe Amazon has had it for $50 but if you do have GCU a little bit cheaper over there Ace Combat 7 7, a terrific game. One of the games that went a little bit under the radar early this year, back in January, because of the release of Resident Evil 2 and the aforementioned Kingdom Hearts 3, but a great game in its own right, and I would give that a strong recommendation. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, the PlayStation Plus offerings for the month of March include Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and The Witness. I would say that's a great month. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Tetsuya Nomura says that Kingdom Hearts 3 sales are way beyond his expectations, and DLC development is underway. Horizon Zero Dawn and PUBG are having a collaboration, bringing some HZD-themed weapon skins to PUBG. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is getting a beautiful PlayStation 4 Pro console. Unfortunately, it's going to be exclusive to the Netherlands and Belgium. And check out that deal on Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.